Next up is United Parcel Service, UPS. This is the brown trucks. Again, bigger in the North American market perhaps, but it is the largest dedicated logistics package delivery company. Global supply chain management, it's got a fleet of planes we'll hear about in a minute, trucks, trains and all the rest of it. Market capitalization, $91.9 billion. So it's about double the size of FedEx, in mm -hmm. case you were wondering why we're not talking about them. Price to earnings ratio high, 27.67 for a normal, old-style, well-established industrial business. Dividend yield of 3.11%. Let's go straight to the share chart. Not quite as toasty as Amazon's, but looking not too bad. How does UPS stack up for you, Nesson? I think this is one of those sort of, it's almost like a utility-style style mm. company. You know, it's a big brand. Uh, they have a, a fairly robust business model. Uh, you know, they, they do a fair amount of online deliveries as yes. well. Exactly. Um, I tried to buy TNT a few years ago. That didn't work out so well for them, and they ended up. I think it ended up getting sold to FedEx uh, on competition issues. But yeah. so it means they are looking for growth. What I like about UPS is it's got a good sort of dividend, and a stable dividend. You know, it, it may seem to be a logistics company which is sort of dependent on what happens in the uh, in the mainstream economies, and I think it, it, it is. Mm. Uh, but being one of the bigger players, a little bit more defensive than being one of the smaller guys. Yeah. Um, so I, I actually quite, quite like this one. I looked up the history of this company. It was established in 1907 by a guy called James Casey, who went on to remain the CEO till 1962. That's astonishing, mm -hmm. an yeah. early entrepreneurial drive. Came out of Seattle. Its first delivery fleet vehicle was a Model T Ford, <laughs> which they bought in 1913. I don't know, prior to that, they probably walked around or <laughs> used bicycles. Bicycles, probably. probably a pony, you know, <laughs> like flippity clop down the main street. <laughs> then they get a Model T Ford in 1913. Now they've got a fleet of like 236 planes, a massive fleet of those brown trucks, yeah. which drive around urban areas if you're in the US. But they do and do operate in like 220 countries around the world delivering 15 million packages a year. So it's a ubiquitous one. The other thing worth noting about them is the physical stores. I've used them in America. Mm -hmm. So they bought like the equivalent in America of a number of different chains of like PostNet type stores. So the UPS store is a place you can go to obviously to hand in the package mm -hmm. for delivery somewhere or to pick up one. But it's also a place you can go to to kind of have photocopies made or to get a document scanned or if you're traveling, you know, to email something and buy those sort of packaging stuff, envelopes and all that kind of bump. Yeah, you can also reroute uh, packages. You know, if you, if you ordered something uh, with uh, Amazon uh, and you could only get to a UPS store and yes. Amazon doesn't use UPS yes. for whatever reason, you can request that they deliver it to a particular store. Or if you're traveling, you can say, okay, well, I'm going to be in this little town yeah. on a conference or something, so get the thing delivered to that particular point. Okay, so UPS looks very solid, solid dividend yield. It's not trading quite at its all-time high. So it is a GDP growth business, and mm -hmm. so if you're popular or positive, rather, about the economy, you'd be positive on it. But you seem to be indicating that you're a little bit more. You think it justifies that 27 PE? I think you've got to look at it on, on, on a dividend basis. Yeah. You know, uh, PEs, in the US, you know, higher PEs can be justified because interest rates are so low. Yes. You know, yes. uh, a 27 PE in the US is not necessarily comparable to a 27 PE in, in yes. South Africa because of the interest rate differential. But if the shift to online um, retail continues, there's no doubt that this company will be positioned perfectly. I think I think they're one of the guys that, that will definitely benefit from that. Yeah. Sure. Good. Okay, so we're going to go hot on this one too. Absolutely. Right.